I was just curious why other animals don't enjoy movies as far as we can tell. Obviously, they're not making movies, but even if I show to my dog a movie on the screen and I try to get him interested because maybe there's another dog, there's a barking dog in the movie, he just doesn't care at all. It doesn't hold his attention. Oh, it's, it's so funny that you ask that. I mean, maybe your dog is weird because I <laughs> often open my talks with pictures of like dogs and cats and monkeys pointing with their heads engrossed looking at screens. And some people report these like compelling, I mean, just Go on TikTok, man. There's like all kinds of videos of pets interacting with screens and and reacting. And I think I I think there's some really actually interesting science. Like lots of pet animals will react to the sounds in a TV show as if they were really happening, right? And that'll happen regularly. Right? The dog starts barking on the screen, and my dog starts barking. And then there sometimes at least some animals seem to be doing that same kind of stuff with the video channel, but like what exactly they're getting out of it. I think there's some, I think there's some science to be done there. Right. And this is the question is, is there something about the human brain that can appreciate story? Whereas if I followed a dog sniffing around and something happens and something else happens to this dog, I mean, my dog certainly, you, even your dog presumably won't sit yeah. there for half an hour and watch it and keep yeah, tuning in no. every week. No, okay, that is totally interesting. So I am 100% convinced that our dog has event models and that like the capacity to build and update event models is pretty widely conserved across the mammalian taxa. But I'm not sure that my dog is tracking the story. Yeah, and I think we don't know that much about what aspects of the longer time scale of goal-directed experience other species are tracking. It's got to be related to these, you know, these questions about chain goals and problem solving, which are surprisingly not conserved, right? You know, the, on the one hand, you've got these crows and other corvids who can do these amazing chain goal things. But then you got lots of mammals who really don't seem to be able to do very much of that stuff. And I suspect that the same representations that are important for action are important for comprehension. Um, and so I think it's possible that the dog's not tracking that much of the story. 